Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this propped cantilever beam. In this beam, the support B sinks by 6 mm. EI is given as 9000 kN meter square. In this beam, the upward deflection due to RB plus the settlement in the point B will be equal to the downward deflection due to the load. This is the upward deflection due to RB. This is the settlement. The settlement is given as 6 mm. We can divide that by 1000 so that we will get 0 0.006 meter. This is the downward deflection due to the uniformly distributed load. To find RB, we are going to use moment area method. From the point B, we are going to find the moments and draw the bending moment diagrams. In this case, we have to follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. First, let us take RB. It is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6. 6 into RB, it will be 6 RB. The diagram will be in the shape of a triangle. Now let us take the uniformly distributed load. It is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. We know that with the uniformly distributed load, we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2. When we calculate this, we will get 432 and the diagram will be in the shape of a second degree parabola. Now let us find the area 1 x1 bar. We know that it is a triangle. We know the area formula that is half into bh. And we know the formula to find the centroid distance about the right side that is 2 upon 3 into breadth. Using the formulas we can find area 1 x1 bar. We will get 72 rb. Now let us find area 2 x2 bar. We know that it is a second degree parabola. The area formula is 1 by 3 into bh and the formula to find the centroid distance about the right is 3 upon 4 into b. Using the formulas we will get 3888. In this equation we have found both of these two terms. Let us apply them. For these two terms we can take LCM. Then we can eliminate EI. The value of EI is given in the question as 9000. In this way for RB we will get 53.25 kN. By applying the rule sigma V is equal to 0 we can find RA. Now let us take a moment about A and find MA. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. We know that with the UDL we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2. Let us assume that MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive. Finally for MA we will get a positive value that means our assumption is correct. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction. Here you can see the shear force diagram. In this point the shear force becomes zero. In this point there will be the maximum positive bending moment. Let us make a section in this point and find the distance. You can see that in that point I have made a section at a distance of x from the point B. In this point the shear force is zero. Using that concept we can find x. For the maximum positive bending moment we will get 59.07. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. In this point the bending moment becomes zero. This is the point of contraflexure. We can make a section in this point and to find the distance. You can see that I have made a section at a distance of x from the point B. In this section the bending moment is zero. Using that concept we can find x. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.